Hey, we're Texas King. We're at the First Ontario Concert Hall in Hamilton, Ontario, and we're here with Beers with Bands. Hey guys, thanks for joining us. Yeah, thanks for having us. Why don't you guys introduce yourselves and the role in the band? And I guess we're all drinking the same today, so. <laughs> uh, my name's Melvin, and I play drums. Oh, oh yeah, I'm, just this one. <laughs> I'm Colin, I play guitar, and I'm drinking a Coors Banquet. I'm Jordan, I play guitar and sing, and I'm also drinking a Coors Banquet. I'm Phil, I play bass. You guessed it, Coors Banquet. <laughs> Uh, so you guys are just wrapping up this big North American tour with Big Rec. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's been really big, yeah. Yeah. Um, any big places that you like, oh, we got to go back to this place again, or a certain venue that you guys have really liked? Nashville. Yes. Nashville? Nashville. Yeah, Nashville? we'd like to go back there. Yeah. Uh, the Commodore Ballroom, we'd love to play there again in Vancouver. Vancouver. Uh, St. John, the Imperial Theater was sweet. I yeah. love that place. Similar vibe tonight. Yeah. And so with spending a lot of time in the van, is there certain things that you guys need to kind of keep you occupied to kill some time? Uh, Disney Plus. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't even out until we basically got home. Uh, yeah, we got unlimited data for, for the yeah. States, <laughs> and that was really, really chill. That's a tour must. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and then whatever, we all just kind of listen to music and podcasts and read books and stuff. And there's also, like, that, like, nice moment where everything just goes silent for a second. And then we all start talking and, like, a little joke starts and then it kind of snowballs. And next thing you know, 50 kilometers have gone by. Yeah. <laughs> You're really just good. hanging. Yeah. yeah. Anything to add? No, I agree. Yeah. Yeah. Pop in a podcast and, yeah, you're usually good to take a few hundred kilometers in the driver's seat. <laughs> yeah. And do one of you drive more than the others? No. Yeah, these no. three drive more than me. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, if you given the chance to play at a huge venue and you got to put anything on your rider, what kind of items? It could be anything off the wall. Whoa. <laughs> um, hmm. Let me think about that. It'd be cool to, it'd be cool to one day be one of those bands that each member gets their own types of beer and liquor that they like to drink. Yeah. Like the Arkell's Green Room is always like so artisanal and vast with the options. Yeah. <laughs> um, CBD oil. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I said anything. Vitamin C. <laughs> oh man, it'd be cool if like if every day. Because, like, sometimes, you know, you can specify, like, on even days you want this type of alcohol and odd days you want this type. So it would be cool to say, like, Mondays we want a seafood pasta, Tuesdays we want ribs and oh, okay. <laughs> chicken, Wednesdays we want <laughs> just go classy. So food and beer. Yeah. Just a choice. But, like, it would be funny if every Monday we had to eat seafood pasta and it became, <laughs> it became like, f something you didn't want to do. <laughs> <laughs> so let's take it to some firsts. Do you guys remember the first beer that you ever had or alcoholic beverage? Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I had a Labatt Blue at a high school party. And I liked it. London Brew. We're from London. Like, yeah. there's plenty to appreciate in that beer. Except I hated the taste at first. It was, you know, had to grow into it. I, too, uh, hated the taste of my first probably, like, 40 beers. <laughs> And like, I think my first beer was an old Milwaukee silver oh, can. Okay. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Melvin's current favorite beer. Well, it's <laughs> cheap. It's so cheap, and it's not bad. It's not bad. My first was Guinness, though. Guinness. With, yeah, with my pops. Yeah. I don't really remember my very first. I although I think it was probably like something really cheap and was even worse like you don't like the taste of beer normally when you start right. drinking but it's even worse when you make like, your first beer is like lake port or something yeah. like that yeah. it was probably something like is it that is, does it get better than this yeah, yeah. exactly <laughs> um first cd or cassette tape you ever owned spice spice girls the <laughs> first one spice world spice world yeah uh, so was there a second one there was oh, okay. yes uh yeah melvin yeah. had that one too <laughs> I actually wrote them a letter when I was a kid to telling them all the things that I liked and they sent a postcard back um, 
and Jerry Hallowell wasn't in the band anymore, so that's who all I really wanted to hear from. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jerry has moved on. Thanks for your message. <laughs> um, my first CD was probably that Avril Lavigne one. Nice. That's one I remember. Or actually, the Millennium Backstreet Boys. Oh, like dude. and and Sync. Those two were probably bought on the same day too. HMV days. Yeah. Like, you're taking the bus, make it worth the trip, you know? Yeah. Man, it's funny that we all, like, have, like, pop albums <laughs> as the first one. I think that's just what parents do to, for their young kids yeah. is get them a pop album. Because I don't know if it was the first one, but one of the first ones I remember, like, listening to all the time was the Hanson one. Oh, oh. yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and I also had two brothers, so, uh, like, okay. and we all, like, kind of played Emulated. little stuff, and we thought we were going to be them, man. <laughs> <laughs> we thought with the long hair and everything we were going to be them. <laughs> Only Colin now has long hair still. <laughs> and plays music. So. <laughs> yeah. Phil, do you remember yours? Um, it was definitely like uh, one of those like compilation CDs. I don't remember if it was. Yeah, I don't remember if it was a Big Shiny Tunes. It might also been there was one that YTV used to put out. Oh, oh, big Fun yeah. Party Mix. Yeah, all those. All, all, <laughs> I have it. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it might have been one of those. You know, it, or you know, it was one of those type of things yeah. for sure. I had I had a bunch of them. I don't remember exactly which one was first, but yeah. And first concert. Oh, um, whoa. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes. My first concert actually was NSYNC. <laughs> All these pop kids. Yeah. <laughs> What's with us? What was yours? Uh, well, I'm in the same boat as you. Like, one of my first ones that I remember. Okay, so like the actual first one I remember was Weird Al Yankovic <laughs> <laughs> at the Cineplex in London, or I mean not the Cineplex, the uh, uh, the Western Fair. Nice. Um, <laughs> for Weird Al. Yeah, but one of the cooler first shows that I went to that I really like liked and thought was like sweet was Sam Roberts Band. Oh, yeah. We saw them at like it was like Balloon Fest or something in London at the time. I don't know if it happens anymore, but. Oh man, I bet that if I went back and looked at the bill, I bet it was like Tokyo Police Club on it and stuff. Like, Whoa. oh, I bet it would be a throwback. But I remember that show was awesome, and I loved Sam Roberts. Yeah. Ever since. It's funny you said Tokyo Police Club. That's probably the first cool show I ever went to at the, at the Cool House. Oh, yeah. it's a great show. They were my favorite band. But what was your first? <laughs> this, <laughs> this artist named uh, Play Radio Play. You know, okay. I was in like in grade ten. He was this dude from Texas. He played like electro pop with an acoustic out front. I thought it was cool. That's cool I though. was like, I'm you know like playing by myself too at this point. So yeah. I was like, oh, I could do this. He really had it figured out. I anyway. <laughs> Tokyo Police Club. <laughs> um, mine was uh, Sarnia Bay Fest. I think two thousand two or three. Uh, we saw Sum 41 and Blink-182. Oh. Monster. So you win. <laughs> you win. Yeah, you win. <laughs> right. Interview's over. <laughs> Not quite yet. Uh, so if you guys each got the chance to brew a beer or any kind of beverage that you want to brew, uh, we're going to add in a secret ingredient and name it after one of your songs. Now what would it be? Oh. Um, mm -hmm. Will it be super, yeah, it'll be super light? <laughs> Pissy beer, <laughs> first of all. It would be like 30% water. <laughs> and then what? And then what, guys? Help me out here. What's it going to be called? Each, each. Oh. Yeah, you each oh, get each. to. Okay, yeah. well, well, we'll all have a, a really light pissy beer. But mine I'll call the Wake Up Special, right? There you go. Oh, we're getting called. Okay. Yeah, just a minute. Yeah, um, I would call it the Wake Up Special because... Uh, you know, the fizziness of it would just get you going for a good party night. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I would do, uh, just to mix it up, an amber ale or something. Nice. Call it the... the fuck, man? <laughs> 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 yeah, just to mix it up. I'd probably call it, I don't know, the the, the chandelier Damn. amber. <laughs> no, <was> yeah. <laughs> for no reason, really. Just chamber beer. <laughs> Um, I'd go I'd do like a some kind of a, probably a wheat beer. 
Oh. Something kind of like light and citrusy. Uh, we would, I'd probably name it after probably circles. Call it nice. something something to do with circles. I think could be a cool beer name. Yeah. Come back in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Come back for another one. Yeah. Uh, definitely double IPA, and it'd be called Greatest Mistake. <laughs> the hangover. Just the hangover. <laughs> <laughs> work. But they're all really great beers. You can have like a little pack, Even holiday more. pack. Yeah, nice. uh, where can everybody find you on your socials? Is it Texas King, Texas King Band? Band on Instagram? Okay. That's all that matters. All right, there you go. And we're ban- beers bands on Instagram and Twitter. And thanks, guys. Cheers. Thanks. Cheers. Thank you. Yeah, mine's done. <laughs>